Hey, good morning, everybody. This is Bamboo. Today is Saturday, June the 10th, 2010. Um, I just had a couple of comments on my video from yesterday that I wanted to talk about, so um, I'm just going to do a really quick video. Um, number one is, I had mentioned in one of my videos a while back um, about what my real name was, and um, just to see if anybody could guess what my real name was. And um, somebody actually did guess it, which I think is kind of funny. Um, you spelled it wrong, but that's not abnormal. So um, I didn't go back and look through all the the video comments because that would take me like forever to figure out who it was. But you'll know who you are um, when I say this. And someone commented on my video yesterday that they thought my name was Pam because of when I was reading the um, the little signed part of the book that I won um, but no Pam is the person who sent me the book so good guess but wrong um, my name is actually Becky and it's B-E-C-K-I it's not B-E-C-K-Y and um, so someone guessed that which I think is kind of neat but um, anyway so now you guys know my real name and um, you guys can call me whatever keep calling me Bam or bamboo or bam or boo or pinky or whatever I mean I, you guys have come up with so many different names for me now I don't even I can't keep track of them all but anyway so um, I just wanted to mention that so that you all know and the other thing I wanted to talk about is I got my um, medical alert ID yesterday in the mail so I wanted to show you guys and since it has my name on it I figured I probably better tell you my name first but um, here's my little medical alert tag, and it's got a little um, symbol here, and uh, my name is there, of course. And I picked, you can pick what little symbol you want from this company that I, that I ordered from, and mine is like kind of just got like this pale pink background, which I thought was kind of cute because it's kind of girly. Um, they, they have blue and red and purple and all different colors, and I think that a website is... Um, creative, I can't remember, creativemedicalid.com or creative ID or something like that. And then um, on the underneath side, when you when you take it and you flip it over, that's where all of my information about my surgery is. And it, I'll just read it so that you guys have an idea of maybe if anybody's pre-op and wanting to order one of these, of some, some of the things you might want to consider putting on yours. Um, everybody has a little bit different on theirs just depends on um, what you feel like you need to have and these were to me the important things so this is what I have I have RNY gastric bypass 628 2010 which was my surgery date no blind NG slash scopes and no NSAIDs no sugar and really I think those were the the main points some some of the websites I looked at for some of these have spots where they recommend you put like your your doctor's name and phone number but um, I don't really think all that's necessary like if I'm in a, an emergency situation I don't think they're gonna be wanting to call my surgeon for anything and if I, I mean all they really need to know is just this little bit of key information so um, but I do really believe that these are important to wear and um, so I would recommend pre-op post-op no matter what you guys check around on some of these websites and look it was not all really expensive I think I paid about $45 for this and it has a nice little uh, chain and they tell you how to size it um, because this is a rigid piece of metal so they tell you to um, measure your wrist and then you have to add like three quarters of an inch to an inch for space and mine as you can see is plenty big now and that I mean it's a little my my concern with it is is that as I lose weight it's gonna get super huge so um, I probably at some point will have to either send it back to have it taken down in size or I'll just have to figure out a way to do it my on my own which just from the look of it I think I could probably do on my own because I do make some jewelry and I have some tools and stuff so um, I think I could do that but this one is nice it has like the chain has a clasp one of those little lobster claws at each end so you can t completely remove the the um, the little 
ID part and you could attach it to a different bracelet or if you wanted to make your own bracelet part with like beading or something if you wanted to pretty it up you could easily easily do that and um, so anyway that's my uh, little medical alert and I think it came out really nice so I'm very happy with it um, I would recommend that company and they have lots of different styles to choose from and um, I just wanted to get a traditional one I think that website you can even buy some that have like beaded bands and um, like pearl bracelet bands and all that kind of stuff but I'm more of a I'm pretty simplistic for the most part so um, anyway that is what I have to talk about today so I definitely would encourage you guys to um, consider think about getting one of these um, I know um, some surgeons don't believe they're necessary. It's kind of a controversial topic in the um, weight loss surgery community. But really, I think even if you have um, lap band, you should still consider these because um, in particular with the NG tubes and the scopes, they don't need to be just shoving anything down into your, into your little pouch that, that could ri risk you know perforating it and poking a hole in it or anything like that. Um, that could cause some major problems, especially for bypass people because, you know, our pouch is kind of our pouch and there's, it, it is what it is. There's, there's nothing else to fall back on. So, um, anyway, I just, I think it's important. So I just thought I'd show you guys and let you know that someone did guess my name right and, um, feel free to call me Becky or whatever in all of your comments. I don't really care. Just, uh, obviously I'm probably, you probably know that I'm a Rebecca really, but, um, don't call me Rebecca because it's so formal and the only person that really calls me that is my mother when I'm in trouble. So, um, anyway, that's all I have to talk about today. Hope you guys are having a great weekend. Bye.